Consider two electrons moving towards each other. As time moves forwards, the electrons move closer, so we can graph that on the axes of space and time like this. But eventually, the electrons will repel. The electrostatic force that does this is carried by a photon. Think of it like your crush's best friend. When you think you and your crush are getting close, Anna will go up to Haley and tell her I'm not good enough for her. Now, according to Einstein over here, space and time are interchangeable at near light speeds, hence space time. So really, we can not only swap these axes, but we can also rotate the diagram as much as we want. If we rotate it 90 degrees, we're left with this, where these electrons are now moving backwards through time? See, electrons are attracted to positive charges and repelled from negative charges. We know that. But reverse the flow of time, and now it's the opposite. Electrons are moving towards negative charges and repelled from positive charges, effectively as a positive charge. Hence the name positron. Here, the two particles annihilate each other in a process known as annihilation, and this illustrates pair production, where a photon splits into an electron and its antiparticle, a positron. This actually goes for every particle that we know of, allowing for antiparticles to form antiprotons, antihydrogen atoms, anti dogs, anti. Hey, I'm walking it! Uh. Now, obviously, there's almost no antimatter on Earth, so that would never happen. But that's a problem. As far as we can tell, antimatter behaves identically to matter. So why is there so much matter and so little antimatter? Well, we don't know. If we could find a process that treats even one in a billion matter particles differently from antimatter particles, those matter particles could have avoided annihilation after the Big Bang and created everything we know today. Physicists are getting close with neutrinos and antineutrinos, which might take different times to oscillate between flavors, but we won't know for sure until more experiments can be conducted. All we know for sure right now is that according to our current understanding of physics, we shouldn't be here. And yet, here we are.